then we have the light of life. You see? But what the Lord wants us to do is to learn to draw from it, from that wisdom. Not the knowledge, wisdom. Where's the wisdom? It's in our heart. It's in our spirit, man. It's not up here between our ears. It's here. In our heart. In our spirit, man. That's the reason why God... I've got a, uh, a, 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 a little book that I've read one time. I, I carry around with me. And it's called, God Tells the Man That Cares. Because you see, it comes from the heart. Not up here. It comes from here. It comes from the heart. So you see, we have God's ability to do what? To face human needs and circumstances that surround us. We have His wisdom that we can draw on to make the right decisions. You see, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ is more than just life and death. It's more than just uh, 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 devils and, and what have you. It's life itself. You know, each and every one of us, uh, 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 depending whether the Lord's going to come or not, could live here until we're a hundred years old or more. Well, don't you think He's equipped us to live on the earth? You better believe it. But what He's done is He's given us His uh, wisdom. His uh, wisdom. His creativity. To do what? To live upon the earth uh, <clears throat> and to walk upon it and so forth. Because you see, my dear people, He is our ability. And He is our wisdom. And that's the reason why you'll hear me, for instance, when I pray, when I begin every service, I say, Lord, You are my ability. You are my wisdom. Because He is. Because, my dear people, I would not get up here without Him. I would not get up here without Him. I've had people say, I've been, go to a meeting, I'll sit in the back of the church, and I say, well, why didn't you give a word? I'll tell you why. Because I've got nothing to say. You see? <coughs> Because it's, it's His wisdom. It's His ability. You see? Um, now in Colossians, verse 12, the Word of God again says, Giving thanks unto the Father, which hath made us meet, in other words, made us worthy, to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light. In other words, God... <clears throat> we're, we're being the Colossians the rest of the meeting here Colossians 1.12 the word of God says giving thanks unto the Father which hath past tense made us meet in other words able or made us worthy to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in other words he's saying God has given us the ability did you notice me? God has given us the ability to enjoy our share of our inheritance of the saints that walk in the realm of light. Woo! You still with me? And then we read in verse 13, the Word of God says, Who hath, again, past tense, delivered us. What is he talking about here? We've already been delivered from the power of darkness. We've been delivered from ignorance, my dear people. And half, past tense, translated us into the what? Kingdom of His dear Son. There was the kingdom of light. So you see, we've been removed from darkness. We've been removed from ignorance uh, into kingdom of light, which is His uh, wisdom, His ability, His divine ability. And my dear people, it's already been done. How? Through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. You see? But we have got to, as the body of Christ, to learn how to walk in the things of the Spirit and get out of the flesh. Get out of the head knowledge, get out of sense knowledge of what we see and what we hear and get into the things of the Lord, the things of the Spirit. <coughs> we notice here in verse 3, 13, the Word of God says... He's saying, Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of His dear Son? Talking about the kingdom of light. He is saying, in other words, that God is at work within us. He is already at work within us. He's thinking through our minds and He's operating through our spirit man. You see? My dear people, God Almighty, God Almighty, the Creator of the universe and the heavens. Our Creator has given us His divine nature. And what He wants to do? He wants to take us over. He wants to take us over. God wants us to let Him rule in our lives. 
He wants to rule in our lives. And He is saying, would you just get off the throne and let me on it for a while? You understand? Get off the throne and let Him on it. <clears throat> and begin to walk in the things of the Lord. Begin to walk in the things of the Spirit. We read in Colossians here, uh, chapter 2, in verse 3, the Word of God says, <clears throat> in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. My dear people, treasures of wisdom and knowledge are hidden in who? The Lord. Knowledge of what He has done. Knowledge of what He is to do in us. Knowledge of what He has already done in us. Knowledge of what we may do with His ability. Whose ability? God's ability. What ability? His divine ability. His wisdom. My dear people, <clears throat> the Lord... How many of you know that God is a spirit? God is a spirit. He is a spirit. And wisdom comes from the spirit. It comes from the Spirit. <clears throat> so that He's wanting us to learn how to walk in His divine ability, His divine nature. How? Through wisdom. Knowledge of who we are in Christ Jesus. He wants us to know that. <clears throat> and then there is wisdom to use all of the knowledge that He has given us because without wisdom, knowledge is of little use. My dear people, it is a sin. Did you hear me? It is a sin to be commonplace in this day and age. It is a sin to be commonplace in this day and age. It is wrong for us to be weak. Because we have already been made strong. We have been given His righteousness. We have been sanctified. We have been justified. We have been given His wisdom. And it, it, and, and it is wrong for us to be weak. It is a lack of wisdom for us to depend upon just simple sense knowledge. What we see and what we hear when we have God's abilities within us. We have His divine abilities. His wisdom. You see. You see, the church, the church today, have all, all they've ever thought about is God working to build into us the love nature and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm for that. There's nothing wrong with that. The love nature and the grace of God makes a beautiful spirit. But my dear people, God wants to illuminate our minds so that our spirit man can know the mysteries of creation. Why? So that He may use each and every one of us. Each and every one of us to our full potential. Why? Why? For His kingdom. For His kingdom. You see, my dear people, we have been called out of the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of His marvelous light to be used. To be used. And He's equipped us every way you can think of. Every way He can think of us. So he's saying, he's saying to, to use the, his divine abilities to draw on it. <clears throat> because he wants to illuminate our minds. He wants to illuminate our spirit man. He wants to give us what well, he's already given us, his ability. He wants us to be able to face our everyday needs in His wisdom. His divine wisdom. Amen. Amen. Praise you, Lord. <clears throat> well, thank you, Jesus. You all learn anything? <laughs> Amen.